Hey everybody, Homeslash Hunter here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at some very fun battles in the Open Master League, where this trainer is going hunting for all the new Mewtwo's in the Master League with Astonish Tapu Lele. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Valiant Ivy, so many thanks for the battle submission. Now, Tapu Lele is going to be a Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon, and for the moveset, it's running Astonish, the Legacy Move Nature's Madness, and Focus Blast for the Pesky Steel types. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and let's check out level 50 Tapu Lele in the Open Master League. Tough lead in the first match, Palkia Origin into Lugia. We'll see the save switch into the Tapu Lele. Opponent responds with a Mewtwo. How is this their best response to an astonished Tapu Lele? Oh my goodness. This is what Lele wants to see. These astonishes are chunking, especially when they throw on alignment, calling the bait as well. Oh my goodness, Mewtwo in absolute shambles. If that was a Shadow Ball, Tapu Lele was getting absolutely destroyed. But successfully calling the bait, Mewtwo now in a very awkward spot. The Nature's Madness is going to be able to pick up the KO. Opponent is going to send in their final Pokemon, which is Zekrom. So now we see why they didn't answer with their third, because they were a little bit triple weak to Tapu Lele. Nature's Madness is going to be shielded. Zekrom looking for the farm down, will be able to get the farm down. So Zekrom leaves with a massive amount of energy. In comes the Palkia. Do you try and call the Fusion Bolt? calls the fusion bolt that is massive in comes the lugia answered with the mewtwo and this mewtwo is running double legacy so it does have the shadow ball that's needed to hit this lugia for massive super effective damage the shadow ball is going to connect getting lugia quite low lugia returning fire here we will see the immediate shield from the mewtwo as lugia fires off the sky attack mewtwo not going to over farm whatsoever just wanting this lugia off the screen shadow ball picks up the ko in comes the zekrom they have to throw a move or they will be knocked out with the side strike they're gonna fire off the last second fusion bolt that does pick up the ko but back in comes palkia palkia makes it to the aqua tail and that's gonna be game over there so a pretty terrible lead but the opponent did not have a response to tapu lele and tapu lele takes the win Palkia Origin sees a way better lead in the next match as it leads into Ho-Oh. And the Ho-Oh is staying in this matchup. Palkia is able to outpace here. Palkia deciding not to throw the energy. The opponent is going to go for the Brave Bird and dip. Palkia is going to respect the damage. In comes the Dialga. Palkia staying in this matchup, taking quite a lot of damage, but there's not really an obvious counter swap here. The Spatial Ren does get shielded. In comes the Mewtwo. This is not a range where Shadow Ball will KO, so I do like the decision to go for the Psy Strike right away. The Psy Strike is going to connect. A second Psy Strike will be lethal. Iron Head does not knock out here. We are going to see Mewtwo call the bait. Dialga does go for the Iron Head, and a Psy Strike will be reached by the Mewtwo. Very nicely done here. This puts some pressure onto the Dialga. Dialga choosing to let it go. They can get one incinerate here with the Ho-Oh. But Ho-Oh is going to have to deal with the Palkia. Palkia will be able to outpace. Make it to the Aqua Tail before the Brave Bird is reached. This is super effective damage. Aqua Tail barely does not pick up the KO. In the back, it is Zekrom. Choosing to fire off an Aqua Tail. The Aqua Tail gets shielded. The opponent lost count on the Palkia. They shield what could have only only been an Aqua Tail, and now Tapu Lele is in prime position in this endgame. Tapu Lele going for the Nature's Madness. Nature's Madness is going to be able to pick up the KO onto the Zekrom. There's one HP on that Lugia and a Brave Bird. The Brave Bird will actually go Sacred Fire here. It does not KO. Tapu Lele takes down Ho-Oh and takes the win. Moving to the next match, leading the Palkia Origin into Zygarde. Unless Zygarde commits to an Earthquake, this is a zero shield win for the Palkia. So Palkia, more than happy to absorb this crunch damage and return fire with the Spatial Rend. Spatial Rend does get shielded. We're now going to see a save switch into the Tapu Lele. In comes Solgaleo. Solgaleo may be thinking that the moveset on Tapu Lele is walled here. It's oftentimes it's Nature's Madness and Psy Shock. But this Tapu Lele is not running Psy Shock. Going for the Focus Blast, it connects, nearly picking up the one-hit KO. The Solgaleo able to make one final Psychic Fangs, but that is not going to be enough to KO. 
In the back is Rhyperior, and Rhyperior could prove to be very problematic in this endgame. Rhyperior going for the Breaking Swipe. We do see the shield, and now we see the switch into the Zygarde. Zygarde answered by Mewtwo, but unfortunately Mewtwo cannot KO with one charge attack here. A Psy Strike will not be enough to knock out. We'll need back-to-back -back Psy Strikes, and these Dragon Tails just continue to eat away at the health bar of this Mewtwo. Psy Strike is going to connect. Mewtwo playing to the CMP tie, trying to get as much farm as possible. But at this point, it's going to be really, really hard to beat the Rhyperior. Mewtwo firing off the Psy Strike. Psy Strike will do quite a lot of damage here. Psy Strike into Rhyperior does get no shield in, and it all comes down to this. Mud Slap versus the Dragon Breath. This is going to be close. Do we see a debuff here from the Breaking Swipe? The Breaking Swipe does get shielded. No debuff comes through, but Rhyperior takes the win with 1 HP remaining. Moving to the next match, leading Palkia into Dialga. Not the greatest lead ever. We are going to see the safe switch into the Mewtwo. A lot of Dialga leads do not have an amazing response to a Mewtwo safe switch. So they're just going to stay in here. They're going to fire off the Ironette. We're going to see the shield from the Mewtwo. Mewtwo going to farm up a massive amount of energy and bait with the Psy Strike. Psy Strike bait does get no shielded by the Dialga. In comes Landorus. But Mewtwo is already at two more Psy Strikes. Going to be able to apply so much pressure here to the Landorus. Landorus shields the first. This one cannot be an Ice Beam, so I wouldn't be surprised to see a No Shield. They are going to let that through since it can't be the Ice Beam. They're going to do a very nice over farm and fire off the Sand Tier Storm right before the third Psy Strike is reached. But now you can descend in the Palkia. Palkia will be able to absorb this energy, no problem. After this land, could potentially send in the Tapu Lele and go for the Astonish Farm down. I really, really like that play. Is now Tapu Lele has an energy advantage. In comes Groudon, and this, this is looking extremely difficult to win this game. We are going to see the shield by the Tapu Lele. Is it the Precipice Blades? It is the Precipice Blades. That is a massive shield. In comes the Dialga, and there's two Nature's Madness loaded here. Nature's Madness into the Dialga. That's going to set up a farm down for the Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele going for another Nature's Madness. This, of course, is going to be doing less damage than a future Nature's Madness, so we are going to see a No Shield by the opponent. A second Nature's Madness is reached. The opponent is going to be forced to commit the shield. We now see the switch into the Palkia. This forces the Precipice Blades, and it all comes down to whether Groudon can make another Precipice Blades. Oh, Groudon makes a move. I'll be honest, I lost count. Is the Precipice Blades? It is not. It's just a Fire Punch, and Tapu Lele is able to take that game. Neutral lead in the next match, Palkia versus Shadow Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo outputs a scary amount of damage, but one Psy Strike does not pick up a KO. Palkia is able to absorb that damage, and the Dragon Breaths will continue to shred through the HP bar of the Mewtwo. Mewtwo will be met with the Aqua Tail. This will do a lot of damage. Shadow Mewtwo is going to commit a shield. We now see the save switch into the Astonished Tapu Lele. Lele farming up energy. This is enough for the Shadow Ball. We do see the shield. The opponent baits with the Psy Strike. They're going to send in Ho-Oh, and this is where Psy Shock could actually be kind of helpful because Tapu Lele's energy is completely walled by the Ho-Oh. Tapu Lele, massively over farming here, able to make another Nature's Madness. This will do more than the first, of course, due to the debuff. Opponent firing off the Sacred Fire, giving Tapu Lele an Astonish for free. Tapu Lele will commit the shield, trying to make it to the Nature's Madness. Gets there, saves the energy, and gets a catch onto the Palkia. Very nicely done. Catching the Brave Bird, Tapu Lele gets the Astonish farm down. Back in comes the Mewtwo. Mewtwo will be met with another Nature's Madness. Nature's Madness does get shielded. The opponent wants to get rid of the Tapu Lele, and they're going to be able to do just that. It all comes down to whether Mewtwo can win the Zero Shield in the back. It's a Dialga origin, and unfortunately, this game is a loss. As Mewtwo is unable to win the Zero Shield versus Dialga Origin if it's running the double legacy moves. Because the Shadow Ball can land, but unfortunately, the Dragon Breaths plus Iron Head will do too much damage. The Iron Head is going to connect. Mewtwo falls just short, and unfortunately, that's game over. We've got a bit of a surprise in the lead in the next match, leading Palkia Origin into Melmetal. 
When the XL system was first released, Melmetal was extremely popular in the Open Master League because it was the easiest legendary, or in its case, mythical Pokemon to get XLs for. But unfortunately, Power Creep has not been kind to Melmetal. Melmetal can't even beat Palkia Origin, even though Palkia's Dragon Breaths are going to be resisted. Choosing to save the Palkia for later and sending in the Mewtwo, Mewtwo will make it to the Psy Strike, winning charge attack priority over the Melmetal. Psy Strike does not KO here. I'm expecting after this Rock Slide lands, the opponent is going to be switching out of this matchup. The Melmetal fires off the Rock Slide. In comes a Zygarde. So the opponent running a very old Master League Pokemon and a very new one paired up with the Zygarde. Zygarde going to be able to tank the Psy Strike and get a full farm down. Zygarde now going to have to deal with Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele, double resisting the Dragon Tails, going to protect against a potential Earthquake, and it proves to be a good shield as the opponent does go straight for it. Tapu Lele is going to be firing off Nature's Madness. That's going to connect, getting the Zygarde low. Zygarde will fire off a last second charge attack, and we're going to see a no shield, and it's an outrage. The opponent running double nukes. In comes the Melmetal, so that tells us whatever's in back is weak to Tapu Lele. They know Shield the Nature's Madness, and it's a Dragonite in the back. Oh no, this poor Dragonite. Dragonite stuck with entirely resistant moves going up against Lele. Nature's Madness is going to be shielded, but look at the Astonishes, man. They're adding up. In comes the Palkia. Palkia going to no shield the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw will get Palkia very low, but Palkia is going to be able to make it to the Aqua Tail. Defense has been lowered on the Dragonite. Dragonite is going to no shield, but this just sets up Tapu Lele to fully Astonish farm down. The Astonish went through, so shielding here by the Tapu Lele means a guaranteed win as the Astonish does register, and that's game over. Moving to the next match, leading Palkia Origin into Dialga Origin. The Battle of the Origin forms not a good spot to be as the Palkia, so we will see the safe switch into the Double Legacy Mewtwo. Mewtwo going for the Shadow Ball. Opponent tries for a Focus Blast catch onto their own Mewtwo, but they catch a Shadow Ball. Oh no! Disaster strikes for the opponent. The Mewtwo farms up to 9 when going for the Shadow Ball, which is the correct amount of Psycho Cuts for a Focus Blast. Opponent tried to make a very cool catch, but it backfires in a massive way. And now they choose to send in Palkia. I'm very surprised by their decision to send in Palkia here, because Dialga could have absorbed the damage from both moves, whereas Palkia is going to have to shield one, and the Psy Strike is going to do a massive amount of damage. In comes Tapu Lele. Opponent sends in the Dialga. Is it time? Is Dialga about to get Focus Blasted? Honestly, the safer play is probably to go for the Nature's Madness, but I'm always a fan of Focus Blast. Looks like we are just going to go straight for the Nature's Madness. Nature's Madness will deal some solid neutral damage. The opponent shields up. Now the switch into the Palkia. With the defense drop, these Dragon Breaths are adding up. Do you just call it here? Letting it go. That's the roar of time, and that's going to be goodbye to the Palkia. Dialga firing off the Iron Head. We are going to see the shield from the Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele will be able to over farm, potentially even farm down. In comes the Palkia. There's the Focus Blast and it's bad manners. Oh my goodness. The Focus Blast onto the Palkia. In comes Dialga. Dialga gets astonished farm down and Tapu Lele is able to take the win. Great lead in the next match, leading the Palkia Origin into Kyogre. Opponent safe switches into a Charm Gardevoir, and it looks like this is going to be Kyogre Double Charm. But Gardevoir is now going to have to deal with the Astonished Tapu Lele. Lele grabs the shield with the Nature's Madness, but that of course means that these Astonishes are going to be doing more damage due to the defense drop. Triple Axel is going to boost the charm damage. It's going to be a race of the fast moves, and Tapu Lele takes down the Charmer, and keeping switch advantage is everything, as it's going to be a Togekiss or a Primarina in the back. The defense has been lowered on the Kyogre. Kyogre is going to get fully farmed down, unable to make it to a Thunder. In the back is Togekiss, and this game is so over the opponent. Trying for a Toxic Strategy, and it backfires in a massive way, as the Palkia has energy for days, finally getting the shield. And once the shield has been gotten, I mean, this is Psy Strike range. So this is a very comfortable win. Going for the Aqua Tail, and now sending in the Mewtwo. Mewtwo doesn't have to shield a thing. Opponent is going to concede the match right as the Psy Strike is reached. Great lead in the next match, Palkia into Landorus. There's the Mewtwo save switch, and there is Tapu Lele. This matchup does get a bit uncomfortable, but it gets a lot more comfortable when they give you a free Astonish. 
The opponent does go for the Psy Strike Bait, which is a bit uncomfortable. I was going to say if they go straight Shadow Ball, then Lele should be able to do okay. But with Psy Strike Baits, things do get a bit uncomfortable. The opponent firing off more energy here. Lele is going to commit the shield. And there is the Shadow Ball right on cue. Tapu Lele able to get the farm down, exiting with a massive amount of energy. I'm hoping they bring in something like a Dialga to Focus Blast. No, they do not. Instead, they're going to be sending in Landorus. Landorus hit with the Nature's Madness. That does quite a lot of damage. Tapu Lele... Going for Nature's Madness number two. This will KO here. They let it through. In the back, it's Dialga. And the opponent just does not want to play anymore. They've had enough of the Lele. And they resign the match. Good lead in the final match. Palkia Origin into another Melmetal. There's a Shadow Mewtwo on the save switch. Choosing to stay in here with the Palkia Origin. And tank the Psy Strike. And a Shadow Psy Strike is going to do a massive amount of damage. Palkia... Fires off the Aqua Tail. We see the shield by the Mewtwo. Mewtwo, oh, tries to go for the Psy Strike catch. Unfortunately, no such luck. The shield comes up from the Lele as the opponent will go for the Psy Strike. Lele looking for the farm down and gets it. The Astonish able to pick up the KO. In comes the Mel Metal, and it all comes down to this. Do they know about Focus Blast? Focus Blast does get shielded. The opponent respects it. Absolutely heartbreaking. I wanted to see that Mel Metal get absolutely destroyed. And they're running double Iron Bash. They end up throwing it back to back. So a free Astonish goes through, which is very, very nice. Going to farm up a lot of energy here. Sending in a Dragonite. Could have thrown the Nature's Madness onto the Dragonite. But instead, saving the Focus Blast for the Mel Metal. Saying, you can run, but you cannot hide. Mewtwo firing off the Psy Strike. This is not the Shadow Mewtwo, nor is it the Shadow Dragonite. So Psy Strike is pretty decently survived here by the Dragonite. Dragonite not in any range of getting farmed down by Psycho Cuts. You do still have a little bit of health remaining here. Okay, looking for the farm down and on one HP, leaving with that Focus Blast. Melmetal could shield once, but it cannot shield twice. It gets Focus Blasted, and that's a good game. All in all, these are some very fun battles. Tapu Lele, while it's definitely not like top tier Master League meta, I do think it has some very nice play now. The adjustments that have been made to its moveset, like the repeated buffs to Astonish and now Nature's Madness, have allowed it to have some success in an anti-meta role. So it is cool to see more and more Pokemon like beginning to, at the very least, have some play in the open Master League. It would be nice if a couple of those updates were given to some free-to-play mons as well. Like, I know people have talked about a new fast move for Ursa Luna for a while. Maybe even, like, I don't even know. Like, I feel like there are a couple mons that are very good in Master Premiere that with an update or two could be very interesting in Open Masters. Just to help continue to make it easier to for people to have access to Master League. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.